I'm Drex, and this is Introduction to Poi Spinning from Spinballs. In this video, we're going to tackle windmills, a special type of shoulder reel, and use it to create our first transition, the four-beat fountain. We covered reels in a previous video. Windmills are essentially just reels in split time same direction that occur around the shoulders or head. To learn windmills, we're first going to pick a spot on the wall in front of us and a spot on the wall behind us. These are points we're going to focus on as we turn. As we look at the spot in front of us on the wall, we're going to put our hands up near our ears, turning in split time, same direction. We're going to pick a side to turn to, and it doesn't really matter which one. We just need to remember which side it is. In my case, I'm going to turn to my left. I'm going to wait for the poi attached to my left hand to point downward, and I'm going to turn my entire body with it around to face the spot on the wall behind me. The poi on my right hand should automatically follow, and I should wind up with my poi turning backwards in split time, same direction. Because I turn to my left going from forwards to reverse, I'm going to turn to my right going back to forwards. To do this, I'm going to wait until the poi on my right hand is pointed up towards the ceiling and turn my entire body back to the point that I started facing. Again, the poi in my left hand should automatically follow around and I'll wind up with the poi turning forward in split time same direction. It might be helpful to keep in mind which hand you're following and which direction the poi points in in order to turn. I think of it as turning left down and right up. Each time you turn in the direction of the hand that you're following. We want to be able to turn back and forth continuously, so we're going to work our way there by performing three beats on each side. Face the forward direction and count off one, two, three beats before turning to reverse, and count off one, two, three beats before turning back to forwards. Practice this until you can go back and forth no fewer than ten times in a row. Once that feels comfortable, practice this move with only two beats on each side, counting off one, two, turning from forwards to reverse, and one, two, turning from reverse to forwards. Again, practice this until you can go back and forth no fewer than ten times in a row. Finally, we're going to practice performing only a single beat on each side, instantaneously switching which hand we're following. Bring the hands up near the shoulders or head, turning the poi forwards and think, follow left, follow right, follow left, follow right. If you can turn straight back and forth like this, congratulations, you're doing the windmill. At this point, you're probably going to find it easier to plant your feet pointing out at the side of your body that you're turning across, in my case, towards the camera. That way, you only need to move your upper body and shoulders to make this move work, and it'll save you a lot of work. While windmills look pretty cool in and of themselves, they also present an excellent opportunity to learn one of your first transitions between moves. We can go back and forth between a waist strap and a windmill to create a move called the fountain. Before learning this, make sure you've already watched the videos on both the 3-beat weave as well as the waist strap so that you're comfortable with both. If you've already got the 3-beat weave and waist strap under your belt, you can begin to practice this transition by turning from a forward 3-beat weave to a reverse 3-beat weave using a waist strap. On the reverse side, you'll want to look out for a moment when both of your hands are over on the right side of your body. It happens right there. The important moment happens when your right hand is reaching down and around underneath your left. This is an opportunity to move your left hand up above your left shoulder. Think of it as you're going to gently tap yourself on the shoulder, like throwing the poi over your back like a sack. As the poi passes behind your back, you can now reach your right hand up and tap your right shoulder in the same way that you did your left. If your timing is right, you should have the right poi drop behind your back just as the left poi is pointing up, and if you turn your upper body to the right, you'll find yourself in the position that we started the windmill in, and you can go straight into the move from there. To get back into the three beat weave or waist strap, wait for the moment when you're facing over to your right hand side with the poi turning forwards and the poi in your left hand is pointing up. Drop the left hand from your shoulder down to your right hip, allowing it to cross underneath your right arm. This position should feel very familiar from our work with the three beat weave. There are two common mistakes that people make in learning this trick. The first is getting mixed up on which hand goes up when and to which shoulder it is meant to go. Think left hand goes to left shoulder and right hand goes to right shoulder. Given the direction of the windmill we've learned in this video, it will always be the left hand going first. Second, when re-entering the three beat weave, many people simply drop their arms uncrossed and then start in on the three beat weave. While you can opt to do the transition this way, it looks so much cooler to smoothly enter the three beat weave instantly after the windmill. To do this, think that you have to get your left hand under your right on the way down. You're going from a place where your arms are uncrossed to one in which they're crossed. It seems strange, but it looks incredible. Of course, one of the coolest versions of this transition involves instantly switching back and forth from forward to reverse weave to windmill, and then to forwards weave again, without pausing at any point. This version of the fountain is referred to as the four beat fountain. To learn this, start without the poi. Touch your left hand to your left shoulder, then touch your right hand to your right shoulder, then touch your left hand to your right hip, 
then your right hand to your left hip and start the pattern over. It's a bit like walking your hands one by one around your body in a circle. Now try doing this with the point in your hands, thinking left up, right up, left under, right under, left up, right up, left under, right under. Keep this continuous and you've got a beautiful transition that seems to flow naturally all around your body. Windmills and fountains are a great way to add level changes to your spinning, bringing the poi up and down your body in ways that are easy to move along to and present a great view to people watching you from quite a distance away. Thanks so much for watching. Now show us what you can do. Share your photos and videos of your progress with Spinballs.